Welcome to another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. I'm Jason Dackman, Chief Editor at SVG, and I'm joined by Ben Howell, Veritone's Director of Product Management for the Digital Media Hub. Ben, how are you? Where are you calling us from today? Uh, doing well. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm calling in from Denver, Colorado this morning. Very cool. Well, I know the Denver weather in April can be insane, about 20 degrees in snow and then 75 degrees the next day. So I hope you're getting uh, the latter. But uh, we're here to talk about, you know, obviously Digital Media Hub has been a product that's been out there. And when it came under the Veritone umbrella, obviously Veritone known so well for the AI engines that, that you guys build and, and the features that you give to people. So tell us a little bit, just, you know, some, some big things in terms of the AI features that are within Digital Media Hub. Yeah, so for years, um, you know, we've primarily worked with structured data sets. Um, our customers are providing us that descriptive data. Um, we're automatically kind of building and parsing that out on ingest or technical data side. Um, but as we have further integrated with the Veritone and the AIware stack, um, we started to really introduce these various cognitive engines that have really proven out um, a very robust uh, demand for our customers as it relates to building additional data on top of that existing structured data that exists against media files today. Um, sure. I think where we see um, a lot of the demand right now is, is your primary m and &E engines, right? And we're, uh, these are themes that we've seen over the last, I'll call it year and a half of you know, it's transcription, it's facial recognition, it's OCR. Um, so those have been really the driving forces to say, how can we enhance your metadata um, just beyond what, what you're supplying today to really help their users search, discover, um, and find those media assets within Digital Media Hub. Sure, yeah. And I mean, it, it's exciting to finally see all the potential that has surrounded AI within a media production uh, sector really, really kind of come to life and we're seeing real world scenarios. So uh, in the case of you guys with Digital Media Hub, is there any kind of specific example that you're like, wow, that's those guys are really doing what they should be doing when it comes to the AI capabilities? Absolutely. Um, this weekend alone, we're supporting uh, three live events, uh, one for e-racing, e one for horse racing, um, and one for international athletics. So you're, you know, you're track and field. Um, where we're really starting to pick apart the use cases with these customers, they're coming to us to say, um, for example, the International Athletic uh, Federation, the athletes are crucial um, to their various stakeholders to find and access that media so fast. Sure. Um, so leveraging both facial recognition as well as uh, OCR, optical character recognition, um, you can envision a track meet, a race about to start, you see the bibs the racers have on, you see the graphics come up, um, and we're able to quickly recognize and build out those names using that OCR engine capability, index all of that data, and now any of their user base can go in there and quickly find exactly the athlete that they're looking for. Uh, beyond that, we're really starting to see a lot of uh, sponsors, sponsorship verification, uh, right. especially with our Formula E folks um, over internationally, where you can imagine all of those, those race cars, those drivers, they are covered with various sponsors and different types of logos. So as we start to build out our logo recognition and take that media and start to build out that data for those users, it just, it makes a user's experience that much better. So I can quickly type in any cognitive data point that we've curated and built. And now I'm going straight to that moment. Now, now I'm off and running with whatever workflow or downstream use case I have. Right. And that's also really exciting because yes, discoverability and searchability are, are really great for content creation. But now we're talking about monetization, right? Now, now we're actually talking about getting a return on, on the investment when it comes to logo identification and stuff like that. Um, so very exciting. Um, so I know you guys are always, you know, Digital Media Hub is a, a living animal and you guys are always adding new features and, and enhancing it. Uh, what are some of the cool new capabilities that you guys have offered within the platform, especially as it relates to, to AI? Yeah, so uh, one thing that we're really bullish on right now is um, extensibility, extensibility features within the platform. Um, the same uh, customer that I was alluding to earlier, the International Athletic Federation, um, when we signed them um, about six months ago, 
uh, they had a few uh, use cases that we didn't support out of the gate. So leveraging uh, one of our new tool sets called Automate Studio, which is low code, no code, um, it really alleviates a lot of the development cycles for how we can start to introduce these extensibility the extensions, these workflows for a lot of the use cases that our customers are coming to um, based about the media. So right. the biggest one for them was, hey, as their users, I need to be notified when various events, a press conference, an interview, an event takes place. I need to trigger some type of content notification to my various user groups so they know, hey, this media is readily available right now. You can go in, we'll display some nice thumbnails within that email notification. Um, and it just enhances their overall experience is again, we're trying to make it very simple for these users to quickly find and access um, those specific moments or, or full length media files uh, for again, whatever their use case may be downstream. Great. Very cool. So I know you guys use the phrase automate, curate, activate a lot. That's really what uh, it comes down to when it, when it comes to Digital Media Hub. What, what do you kind of mean by that? And, and especially for Digital Media Hub users or somebody that's looking to bring in a platform uh, along those lines, what, what does automate, curate, activate mean to you guys? Yeah, and in no particular order, these are our pillars um, where we drive our features from to support, again, our customers and their use cases and business opportunities. Um, on the automation side, right, that's crucial for everything from ingest to fulfillment to cognitive processing, um, any of the, the kind of the nuts and bolts in the backend infrastructure of DMH. That's really where we want to highlight that a user's touch points are limited and, and we're really introducing the media to their users so they're not futzing around in the back end with any of um, kind of the, the processing or uh, you know figuring out how, how to expedite the ingest. We take care of all of that for our customers. The curation piece of it is interesting because again, we come from that structured data world. Um, as we start to introduce cognitive data, that's all about curating, curating a media file. We want to give our users the ability to go in there and tag when applicable. We also want to give our users the data from the cognitive outputs from the various engines that we're applying to all of our m &E use cases. So that's really further uh, bringing out data of the media to, again, go back to that same point we've talked about is access, access, access. Yep. Um, and then activation is, is crucial. That can mean a variety of different things based on our use case. I'd say bulk of those fall into kind of that monetization category. DMH sits in the middle of a lot of uh, live event production workflows, um, and that media can go a variety of different paths once it gets ingested into the system. So our goal is to ensure that that distribution and the mechanisms that we've built and features within DMH allow our access to take that media and then go do whatever, whatever else they need to do with it, whether it's monetization, um, you know, whether it's a journalist writing an article for a specific event uh, to grab a quote from a press conference. So there's, there's a ton of use cases around that activation, which is, which is one of the most critical ones we talk about. Right. Absolutely. Well, we're seeing these things finally come to fruition when it comes to AI and obviously Digital Media Hub. You guys have the synergy now with uh, all the Veritone tools that, that apply. So it's going to be very exciting to see what comes down the line. I'm sure there's going to be lots of great stuff for uh, the sports production community. Uh, but for now, really appreciate you taking the time, Ben. Thanks so much and uh, stay safe. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.